Hi guys, Alan here. I am in Vining, Minnesota. And what you're looking at are works by a gentleman named Ken Nyberg. This is actually Nyberg Park I'm standing in. And Mr. Nyberg uses metal from grain bins that have been destroyed by winds or tornadoes or been just torn down. And he welds them all together and creates different kinds of artwork. Here's a hand with a football on it. And yeah, that's actually metal. There's a big old elephant right there that he made. Now I can only suppose that this is a piece of watermelon or something that has a big knife stuck in it. I honestly don't know. Yep. Looks like a piece of watermelon. And he signed his name. Actually he uh, welded his name. Sorry about it being bumpy. Forgot to put my camera on the tripod today. Hmm. Oh, was his wife or some relative of his an astronaut? I do not know. Hmm. Made a little alien with a flower. And we've got a great big knot or something here. It's all made out of metal that he welded together. Scrap metal. Interesting. A flower pot. Cactus in it. big elk or deer or something here with huge antlers. It's about 15 feet tall. Here it is with a bug in it. And there's a couple more further in town. Let's go take a look at those. Here's an Indian on his horse that Ken made. There's a giant clothespin. Here's a cowboy with his saddle on the fence, waving at people as they go by on the highway. And we got a big foot with a big toe sticking up there. Why a big foot? I don't know. The foot sculpted in 10 gauge steel over a period of two and a half years by Kenneth A. Nyberg, Vining, Minnesota. Donated to the community in 1991. Strange. Here's a sign that tells us a little bit more about it. That foot's a 1,200 pound, 12 foot high foot made out of 10 gauge steel in 1988. Yep, here's a few more things that he has scattered around the area here. Chief Winonga in Battle Lake. That's the goose in Fergus Falls. I never seen that goose when I was there. 
I don't know where it's at in town. Oh, it's at the corner of Lincoln Avenue and College Way. All right. Well, I came down Lincoln Avenue and I didn't see it this morning. There's Lady of the Hills in Urbank, 22 foot tall. There's the Prairie Chicken in Rothsay, Minnesota, 13 foot high. And you got the American Coot in Ashby, Minnesota. That's about 12 and a half foot tall. You got the Pelican in Pelican Rapids. He made an otter. That's also in Fergus Falls, 11 feet high, 37 feet long. Boy, that's a big one. He also made a giant turkey in Frazee, 23 feet tall, weighs about 5,000 pounds. And he made a loon, 20 foot replica of the state bird of Minnesota. And he made another otter, which sits in Otter Tail, Minnesota, along Highway 103. Why does he do it? It's fun, Nyberg says. I get to choose what I do and when and how long I work on things. What could be better than that? Well, I have to agree. But I still don't understand why he would create a big foot. Oh well, it's definitely different. Okay, let's scoot on into Minneapolis and go to the Mall of America. See you in a bit.